morning, YouTube. Happy Sunday to everybody. Just over here at Lake Worth Beach. We're preparing for a potential hurricane. Maybe, maybe not. Hurricane's definitely coming. Not sure if it will be here or not. That's the question. They do have the beaches closed. Well, not closed to walk on, but you can drive up onto the beach. So I parked across the bridge and walked over to the beach. So depending on what happens with the storm and the weather and power over the next couple days, uh, our Dap Dan may be out of, out of commission for a few days. May have to deal with, uh, with no power, no internet. All those luxury items that we take for granted, right? Oh, this isn't that much different from prison. In prison, you do not have internet. Minus, you know, your little Corelinx computers, but uh, we'll get through it. A lot of people are freaking out right now. They're not freaking out, they're skimboards. You guys having fun? <laughs> Got kids everywhere running around, it's great. There's no birds though, the birds hauled ass. I know it's early for a lot of you guys, but I thought, I'd get up and come to the beach. I pretty much come to the beach almost every every morning, at least five days a week. I try to get up, walk over to the beach, enjoy the weather, it's beautiful. And even on a day like today, the waves are awesome. Such a beautiful sound. And this is how you find peace in the morning. When you're stressed, oh, there go some birds. When you're stressed in the morning and you don't know what to do, thinking about all of this weighted anxiety on your mind you have to find a way to shake that loose at least for moments you know you can't let yourself sit in that negativity and dwell it's just not going to do you any good there's always going to be things going on in your life that are always going to seem completely impossible to overcome whether it's prison whether it's an issue going on at work whether it's your relationship whether it's your kids are acting up in school and you feel like they're never going to get it together, trust me, there's always a way to mitigate the situation, including prison. I'm not saying it's unavoidable. It's only unavoidable unless you have a time. It's only unavoidable if you have a time machine. But you can mitigate. You can mitigate what kind of time you might be looking at. You can do things that the average person's not doing. And that's why we've worked so hard over these last few years at building a team of professionals and experts. And I don't think most of you really don't know the dynamic that really goes on behind the scenes, but my God, there are so many moving parts that we didn't have access to when we first started. Um, that's why a lot of you, you know, you've seen earlier videos where we had a lesser fee of what we charge now. Well, when, it was, when we started, it was, it was basically me maybe one other individual helping getting things done you know now we have a sophisticated team of trained professionals to do things that I would not be able to do by myself and I'm blessed to be able to do this so if you're going through something right now and you're not sure what you need to be doing that's why we have the consultation so there's no link on this video because this was not a prepared video I decided to show you guys getting ready for hurricane whatever its name is. Give you guys a little view. That's the lake we're here over there. But most of you have my cell number. If you don't have my cell number, 509-434-4695. Feel free to shoot me a text message. I will respond with a quick answer. And also I'll send you a link for a consultation link where you can put yourself on the calendar. Uh, this way, if you do need to have some answers, come up with a roadmap, come up with a plan, see if there's anything that can be done to A, either reduce your sentence, maybe not go to prison at all, review your paperwork. Maybe you need to have your PSR potentially amended. Maybe you have a loved one that's already in prison that did not disclose their substance abuse during the time of the pre-sentence interview. And the RDAP coordinator is telling them, no matter what you do, you're not getting an RDAP unless it's in your PSR. Um, we had a client yesterday, and after having a meeting with one of our experts, Tom, 
there is a way to modify the PSR, uh, but it's just not how we would normally think. And this was something that I learned yesterday. So if you do, are in a situation like that where the information is not in your pre-sentence report and it's gone beyond the 10 days where you can make any objections to the PSR, give us a call and I can show you and explain to you what options might be available to have modifications done after the fact. Time is never gonna be on your side. If you have a short sentence, 24 months or so, chances are there won't be any time to do anything. Uh, but if you have a longer sentence than that, or maybe you're not in prison yet, uh, there might be some things that can be done to adjust the situation to get you access to the help you need, not just the time off. I know everybody wants the time off. It's beyond the time off. If you have a legitimate, verifiable substance abuse disorder, if you have family members that are willing to, to uh, initiate and write letters, show proof that you that, that could witness experiences that they've gone through, you know, you can't just make something up and expect that, oh, I'm just going to get in RDAP and get some time off. That's the policy in all of this where people make mistakes, get themselves into more trouble. And that's the kind of thinking that more than likely got you and me into the situation to begin with, was thinking we could have smart the system. The system is smarter than us. It's been around longer. They've seen a million, me and you, come through this. They've seen a million and one ways of how people think they can finagle and outsmart and dodge and dip and in the end they've seen it all they just sit back and watch it's like a helicopter chasing the car if the car thinks i'm going to get away the helicopter's like are you i'm an eye in the sky brother i see every turn i see you going under garages and they're just telling the cops where to go set up traps here do this they're going down whatever street it's the same way cops see us coming i guess i should walk back towards my chair Waves are coming a little closer to the shoreline. I just realized I'm holding the phone long ways instead of uh, horizontal. And YouTube prefers the vertical versus the horizontal. Hey, Box. Yes, the calm before the storm. I don't know how bad of a storm it's really going to be, to be honest. Um, I know people are terrified. I literally saw individuals in publics fighting over cases of water. I'm talking about fighting, not like griping, throwing blows in publics over water. They actually had a manager at the store guarding the water, only allowing two cases per, uh, per customer. And this guy is like, I have a bigger family. I need more cases. And the public, the, the guy public's like, hey, hang out here for another 45 minutes. We have more cases coming, but until they come, it's two per person. He's trying to take it out of people's carts. Like, good Lord. Have I ever seen the rain? I'm not sure if I read your comment right. Um, I've lived in Florida most of my life. I know most of you know me from Washington because that's where our I lived when I was released from federal prison, but I lived most of my life in Washington. I've been through multiple hurricanes. Um, you know, there's been some damage. You know, most of you probably heard of, or at least heard of Hurricane Andrew back, I think it was 1992 or 93, devastated Homestead, like leveled it, made it look like a third world country. So nobody wants to live through that again. And yes, you got to respect it, but the panic that people go through, it's unnecessary. People can't get gas the minute they want gas, so they feel like they're never gonna be able to get gas. Every morning I get up, well not every morning, the last two mornings, I got up uh, about 4.30, 5 o'clock, took the cars, went and filled them up with gas, and there's gas almost at every gas station early in the morning. So if you're trying to get gas, just go early in the morning. Get out of your comfort zone, wake up, don't sleep in that day. Don't make excuses. So I just wanted to share a little this awesome view with you guys this is why i came back to south florida hurricane or no hurricane this is my home i love it i'm gonna stick around hey tomorrow that's right you're beaching tomorrow all right well that's that's my beach right there not a whole lot of people out here today we got a couple kids boogie boarding got some people hanging out We got all these turtle nests everywhere, everywhere. All these little signs in the ground, those are all turtle nests.
got your boogie boards ready. I know you do tomorrow. Of course you do. All right, guys. Have a great day. Be safe. If you live in the South Florida, Treasure Coast, uh, anywhere along the coast of Florida, if the storm is possibly going to impact you or anywhere you live, have fun. Enjoy it. But respect it. Be safe. If you're going to go out drinking and do a bunch of stupidness, be somewhere safe. Don't get liquid courage and run out in the middle of the storm with your GoPro thinking, I'm going to be a star or whatever you think you're going to do with this. People die almost in every storm. And it's not because the storm ripped the roof off and plucked them out of the, the bathtub. It's because they did idiotic things and they received these idiotic prizes of death. So don't let, don't be a victim. Don't be another casualty. You guys have a fantastic week. Be safe. Happy holiday weekend to everybody. Peace, guys. I'm out of here.